What's up guys, Layton here, and today I'm coming at you with a video on my Shadow Priest. Uh, I've been recently gearing up and enjoying Shadow a lot. Here's the spec I'm running. I don't have too much gear. I am 454 item level, but uh, I actually have no corruption, unfortunately, somehow. And, um, you know, we're, we're not running any enchants quite yet. But, uh, yeah, we're not absolutely terrible, so let's see what we do. Um, Shadow Priest I've really particularly been enjoying because of how tanky they are. They have so much healing, so much CC, and uh, it's, it's just felt really great to play. I can't believe the Horde's not going to fight us in market right now. I guess we can all uh, charge the quarry instead. I have Berserker buff and it's being wasted. Alright, if we can get a little bit closer we can stun this. Uh... There we go. We're stunning the Hunter right here. He's going to trink it out. Get him with the Mind Flay. Mind Flay again. Half health, but I can't really catch him. Why not? We'll press greater fade to run at him just a little bit quicker. Refresh our dots into a mind blast. And here we go. Void form. Dot up his little pet right here. Try and keep our void form up as long as we can. Get our dots onto the healer in the back. Hit him with the silence. He sacrificed the hunter. He's going to immune, so I'm going to empty. It's not right on target. Am I in max range? I am. I'm able to hit that, hit him with the Vampiric Touch into another Vampiric Touch on the Hunter over here. Hit our Enhanced Shaman friend with some heals. Uh, let's see. We're going to pop our burst. Got big damage on the healer. Into Void Form, into a Stun right here, into a Psy Fiend. We're going to fear everyone out of this. He already bubbled, so he shouldn't have any way to recover. Other than just straight up healing a ton because holy paladins are insane. We're going to dot everyone right here to uh, a shield on herself, shield on the enhanced shaman. I'm going to greater fade for a global cooldown to press vampiric embrace. Trick it out of the kidney. Juke kick maybe. There we go. We juke one kick. The other rook still has his kick. Getting our uh, dots on everyone right here. Just shadow word pain. And we're going to get back on the Hunter. We have Void Form soon. Here we go. We're pressing Void Form and Shadow Word Death. We got that guy right here. Now we're just going to focus on putting our dots on absolutely everyone, including the lock in the back. I'm pretty sure the Paladin's over there too. Yep, there he is. Hit Powered Shield on myself into a Mind Blast and Void Bolt. We're going to stun up the Rogue right here. Hit him with one more Void Bolt before I run out of my form. Shield up everyone else on our team with our Mouse Over Macro. I can share that in the description if anyone wants to hear that. This guy's gonna focus as right beam, so I'm just gonna instantaneously silence him. We're gonna void shift our healer. Just be really nice. Into a siphon on this rogue right here, void form, and we're gonna spam out our instant cast. We're gonna shield ourselves into a greater fade. We do have um Ooh, we're gonna press it. We're gonna press our gladiators what's it, emblem right here and heal from the back. I think I am probably going to go down and kite out over here. Tunner's right here. We're going to juke him on the uh, Mind Blast, maybe? Yep. Oh, no. That's a DK. God, these people are relentless. I think I do go down right here. <laughs> I have three Hunters on me. Eww. All right. Let's see how much healing we got. 1.3 million healing and second top damage. Not bad. Not bad. Second top on healing. So one thing that is really annoying on Shadow Priest is when you res, half the time you res in Shadow form, the other half you have to reapply it to yourself. And I haven't figured out what causes that yet other than just it being completely random. Like maybe it has something to do with when you die, but I'm going to head back into Ruins because the rest of our team just went there. It's going to be a Ruins games fight. I'm down for that. We have four, or I guess we have three bases right now, but maybe we'll be able to get this because we have three healers chilling right here. I'm going to come into the fight. We're going to... Uh, I'm trying to press a heal or a shield on our healer right there. And then we're going to redot absolutely everyone in their pets. There's this mage. We're going to silence him on his next greater pyre. Spamming. Got his temporal shield to come off. Uh, hit Vampiric Embrace as we go into void form to try and get a little bit more healing out. Here we go. We're going to silence the greater pyro. We're going to stun the next one, actually. He got banished right there, so my dots actually fell off, unfortunately. We're going to redot the rogue into a void bolt, interfering on this greater pyro. Redot the, uh, the mage right here. This is this is pretty intense. I think we're just probably going to focus on the mage. Yep, there we go. We have a nice counter strike totem rolling from someone. I guess uh, maybe our enhanced shaman. 
into a uh, mouse over shadow or death on the demon hunter. We're going to re-get our dots up on the holy paladin. He dies as well. We have this dude cheesing from the top up there. We're going to chase him down with greater fade. Get a uh, little powered pain. Not powered pain. Shadowed pain on this guy right here. We're going to a shield, see if we kick, we juke the kick with our mind blast. We're gonna stun him up into a Psy Fiend and Mind Flay. He's gonna stun us here, but I'm gonna trunk it out. He might try and trap us, we're gonna re-get our dots right before, and he's just gonna go down. Psy Fiend actually doesn't deal that much damage, but the 50% mortal strike on it is really strong. I'm gonna go back from market. I don't wanna be caught sitting at base. Here we go. There's a rogue right here. I just hit him with the uh, burst right away. Along with this 160k health, uh, here, we're going to grip our friend away from the rogue. That rogue is scary. Fear them both. Fear everyone. Hit him with another shield. We are trying really hard to keep this guy alive, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Yeah, he's pretty undergeared. It's like 80k health. There is Cloak from the rogue. I'm just going to hit the Raptor with one Shadow or Pain. Got kicked. That was a pretty quick cast by that, uh, or pretty quick kick by that rogue. Good job on him. Hit myself with the uh, powered fortitude, and I'm gonna go into void form really soon. Here we go, void form into a vampiric embrace. We do have a uh, rest of shaman with us right now, so we probably are fine. I'm gonna hit him with the shield as well. Fall this rogue down. Do kick maybe? Yep. There we go. We took the kick with the mind blast. Hit him with Mind Blast into a uh, Void Bolt. And we're going to tab over the Twisting Appendage right there. We're going to cast Greater Fade. Dot both pets and the uh, Rogue right here. I'm going to Fear him into a Mind Blast. And we should be able to get Void Form out of that. Let's see. Mind Flay. Void Form. Hit him with the Silence to... Uh, what am I going to do? <laughs> Empty him out. Yep. He's way over there. I'm not going to waste my uh, dispersion to try and catch him. Probably not the best of ideas. I'm going to go team fight at market. How are we doing on damage? Yeah, we haven't been in the team fight much of the game. going to run in with slow fall. Hello? Did you guys see that? I, had, I definitely had slow fall and then it just disappeared. Probably dumb. I don't know what just happened. Right, we're going to adopt this pet as we uh, make our way in. We're going to dot them all. We're going to check for the cooldown resetting thing. It's not there, unfortunately, so we're going to walk in and uh, just kill that mage real quick. I think that healer's in the back. We're going to silence him, but he died instantly as well. It's like everyone's just dying instantly right here. Might as well just pop everything on this rogue. And market is ours again. Just want one solid long team fight. I don't know where that's going to happen. Probably ruins. Just got to follow on Twitch. We're not even streaming. Thanks for the follow, whoever that was. Let's see. We're going to hit Quarry. Or maybe Runes. Is this mage taking any damage? Maybe Runes? I'm actually surprised Horde's not going Runes instantly. Yep, yeah, looks like they're good. There's no Berserker either. Are they actually going for a shrine? That seems kind of counterproductive. Okay, there they are going back for market. So we're going to jump in there. A soul fall worked this time. I don't know how it stopped before. I'm going to fear this uh, hunter off me. Redot him. Get back on the other hunter. Hit everyone with the powered shield. And we press our void form. Void bolt. Hit with the mind blast. Void Bolt. Trinket out of this and Greater Fade. Hopefully that doesn't hit me. Oh, it did hit me. Unfortunate. We're going to hit this guy with the Void Bolt into the Redot. Since he's not targeting me, we don't have a Fade Cast. Hit the Mage with the Silence. No more Greater Pyros for you. And Redot the Paladin. We're going to Fear everyone. Oh, we don't have Fear, unfortunately. Alright, we're going to pop Burst and Vampiric Embrace. Just to get healing on a little bit. Everyone. I want to take out this really undergird Hunter right here. Go away. Go get some gear, buddy. All right, we'll actually go on the Undergood Holy Paladin. I like the gear that this Paladin's wearing. He's wearing the Season 9 Cataclysm. Uh, I believe it's Season 9. Is it the Season 8 or Season 9? Or season 10, maybe? Ruthless or Vicious gear? 
that was when I first started getting into Arena. I did play Arena in Wrath of the Lich King, but it was like abysmal. I had no idea what I was doing. <clears throat> Anyone left at market? Nope. I guess it's probably Ruins is going to get screwed. Yeah, there we go. That monk at Ruins is dying right now, and then they have all these people going to there. We're doing on damage. We're almost tied with everyone. Our healing's pretty good for a DPS as well. We have almost the same healing as an undergeared Resto Shaman, or a Resto Druid. This dude's blinded, unfortunately. We lost Ruins, but I'm just going to hit this guy with a Shadowward Pain so I don't get spam sapped by that rogue that was around here. Also hit me with the power word fortitude or shield or whatever it's called. So many power words and shadow words. Right, we're going to pop our vampiric embrace. I'm going to get stunned up right here. We're actually going to trinket greater fade, a bunch of damage right there. And kite out with our rest of druid. We're getting greater pyroed. I couldn't quite silence it. Drop our psy fiend on this uh, hunter right here into a void form. Trying to run back in there. He's getting siphoned down now. Shadow of Death. Very nice. Ooh, I may have just heard some thunder. Pop shield on that warrior. It's all these people are taking lots of damage. Feels good, man. We're even going to dot the army of the dead. This guy with the Shadow of Death. To Mind Flay, Mind Blast, Shadow of Death. Still doesn't kill him. DKs are so tanky. But we should get Ruins back, I think. Yep, there we go. And we have four bases. And uh, typical of me, I'm not going to sit and defend. I'm going to grab Berserker if this guy doesn't take it. And head back to Market. Or at least Float. Yep, Market's under attack, so I'm going to jump down with Slowfall again. Here we go, Shadowward Pain. Pop all of our offensive cooldowns right here, and we're going to go on the Holy Paladin. Silence this mage, and then we're going to read out the entire crew with a Vampiric Embrace to try and get healing on everyone. I can't silence that mage in the back. Thoughts for everyone, thoughts for everyone, thoughts for everyone. Including both these hunters. Oh my. Watching my healer see if he needs a Void Shift. He does not. And we're going to pop our burst on the rogue. Maybe juke him? Maybe not. This is the fight I needed to get my damage back up. Shadow Fiend. Continue dotting absolutely everyone that we can. Silence the greater power blast into a life stop on my healer. There we go. Saved his ass. Very nice. Very, very nice. I actually want that. Oh, the Shaman took it. That would have been nice to have another backup Void Shift, but, you know, what can you do? Oh, we're top damage. Not bad. All right. I think I might want to run at Quarry, but are these guys taking damage? Nope. Lost farm, but I'll go for Quarry. We have a Windwalker and a Hunter up there. Who else do we have coming? Another DK. A little bit ahead of my teammates, so I'm not going to go too far in. Going to go ahead and greater fade while they get here. All right, we got one Resto Druid here and myself. Just swap over and kill that undergeared hunter. We're going to pop our dots on absolutely everyone right here. I'm going to trink it out of this into a Power Word Shield, or Siphon, actually. We're going to hit our greater emblem, Gladiator's emblem. I don't know I call it greater emblem to a Vampiric Embrace and try and heal out of that. We're going to hold our Dispersion just a little bit. I'm going to press it right here, actually. There we go. Disperse. Disperse heal. We're going to kite out. Unfortunately, our healer is... Looks like he's going to go down here. Looks like I'm going to go down as well. We're going to fear all the pets into just some shadow words on everyone else into a greater fade. Let me out. Let me out. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get away. Son of this guy right here. Hit my uh, shield one more time. Yeah, we're dead. Oops. I guess we got rezzed on right there. They all came off the mountain. 
10 million healing almost, or 10 million damage almost 5 million healing. That is not bad at all. Yeah, so right there I didn't res in shadow form. But other times I do res in shadow form, I don't understand how it works. They're going ruins, we have one warrior that's almost dead. Are they going market? They're not at market, but we're about to win the game. So we're gonna run back to ruins. Or just fight on the road up here. If we can. Six points? Nope, we're not gonna get to it. Alright, we ended up topping damage and uh, decent on the healing as well. We tied a slightly undergeared rest of Jude. And um, yeah, Shadow Priest is really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I will see you next video.